All right, what are we learning about monosomy 13 and myeloma? Is it a high risk marker for myeloma? So Lisa, I think that's an extremely important question because there has been historically a lot of discussion about deletion 13, monosomy 13. Deletion 13 meaning a portion of the 13th chromosome missing, monosomy 13 meaning one, so half of the chromosome missing because everybody has two of each chromosome, one set from the father, one from the mother. So if one set is missing, that is monosomy, or, or one arm uh, is missing, it's monosomy. If a portion of the um, chromosome is missing, deletion. Historically, quite some years ago, deletion 13 or monosomy 13 was in itself a high-risk marker. Then the drugs of what's called the proteasome inhibitor family, in which one of them is bortezomib, came about and it showed that whether the patient had deletion 13 or not, outcomes were similar when they got bortezomib. So it was no longer a high-risk marker. In current day and age, there are certain mutations that are considered high-risk. Monosomy 13 or deletion 13 by itself is not considered a high-risk marker, but there, uh, the co-presence of deletion 13 or monosomy 13 with some other mutations is considered higher risk just because it is telling us about more widespread genetic damage in the myeloma genetic material. So for example, if somebody has a mutation called 1Q gain or 1Q plus, as some patients may read in their FISH report, if that 1Q gain coexists with deletion 13 or monosomy 13, the risk of that 1Q gain is even higher. So by itself, monosomy 13, not a high risk, but its coexistence with some other mutations brings up the risk category higher. Okay, thank you. And just to clarify for maybe somebody who's just learning about their myeloma diagnosis and the cytogenetics of that, when you're talking about these mutations, are you specifically talking about these mutations are only in the myeloma cells? They aren't all in their body, so in their overall, in any other cells, just the myeloma cells. Absolutely, you're, you're spot on. So um, uh, these mutations that are tested in the abnormal plasma cells from the bone marrow, which, tell, which the term used for that is somatic mutation, disease-related mutations in the diseased cells. These are not mutations that we were born with or we inherited. So if somebody was to take a sample from a healthy blood cell or a myeloma patient's swab from the mouth or a spit sample, the, that is not expected to carry these mutations. It is only the cancerous abnormal plasma cells from the bone marrow or a myeloma tumor that have these mutations. Mm -hmm.